In this video, we're gonna take a basic concept and really take it to the next level because we're gonna be talking about creating minimal titles. I'm gonna show you some really cool techniques to expanding your title work right here inside of After Effects. Hey, what's going on, Josh? This is, of course, Internet here from Sunduck Film. Be sure to smash that like button because we have three techniques. Maybe you give us three likes if you can. So as you know, the reason why we have multiple examples in one tutorial is so you can pick and choose what works best for you, but more importantly, have a wide range of techniques so you can build your own unique title. So that's why you know we have three unique animations that we're gonna go through. So we're gonna jump in and we're gonna get started. All right, so our first minimal title technique is gonna be creating this expanded title that always is animated and it can be loopable. So you can download our project files for free if you wanna follow along or have this as a template. So we already have a title in here. The fonts that I will be using in this video, it's just gonna be Monstera Bold. I love this font. Um, but go ahead and type out your first title. And when you have that in here, what we're gonna do is open up title layer, go to animate, and we're gonna add a tracking to this. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna increase the tracking from here. So I'll increase the tracking amount up to maybe like 80. So what I'm gonna do is move forward my timeline to maybe 12 frames. And I'm gonna add a keyframe for tracking amount. And I'm gonna move forward to about two seconds. And I'm going to increase the tracking amount to about 130. Okay. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna select our keyframes, hit F9 on our keyboard, make them easy, easy keyframes. And then we'll move just a little bit past four seconds. And we'll set our tracking amount back to what the first keyframe was, which was 80. So we're just gonna have this very lame tracking animation, but we're gonna spice this up real quick. We'll come here to the graph editor and you'll go ahead and select tracking amount and we're gonna select all of our keyframes and I'm under the speed graph. And what we're gonna do is we're just going to drag these candles out to where we're gonna create these very large peaks in our graph. So it should look something like this. Let's drag those handles in there like that. Now what's gonna to happen to our animation, boom, look at that. It's so much more fluid and it looks great. All right, so now we can take this to the next level really quick. What we can do is take our title and go to edit, duplicate. And what I suggest doing when you're duplicating titles is you hit U twice on your keyboard, you'll see the source text, and we'll grab the other text layer, hit U twice there again, and we'll all click the stopwatch for uh, source text right there. Grab the pick whip and parent that to the source text of the first one. And when I move the duplicated title down, and when I decide to update my first title here, the other titles will change. So that's why we're doing that. So when I move down my title, I'm gonna use shift arrows. So I know I'm doing this in increments and everything's gonna match up perfectly. So then I'll go ahead and grab my next title and I will just hit shift arrows again to bring it down. So I know that spacing is perfect. And I will continue to duplicate this a few more times like so. One more big duplication. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab all the layers except for the first one. We'll hit U on keyboard so we can see these keyframes. And right at the tracking amount, that first keyframe there, we'll, we'll just bring in the endpoint of all these layers. So, you know, they'll just be hidden and we'll see the first word like so. And now all we want to do is select, say, the top title layer here. And we can also find the bottom title layer. Hit U on here and bring up those tracking amounts. And we can just bring these down to center up this title a little bit more. So they don't expand out fully. And we can grab, say, the next two uh, layers here and bring those tracking amounts in by a little bit and one last thing that we'll do is we'll grab all the tracking amounts here and we'll just offset them you know in time by a little bit so now our title animation will expand upward and now outward and then it'll come back in just like that so that is a really cool technique here that you can implement if you want to have a multi-layered title as you know creating work from scratch is time consuming and it takes a little bit of time also to make it look professional that's why we have an awesome pack called pulse which has 150 templates of creative typography and vertical video templates right here for after effects so this is our 150 motion graphic extension right here for after effects we call this pack pulse because we have these really cool designer you know full screen motion graphics for you know, typography, Instagram stories, cool animated backgrounds, lower thirds, and even long form promos. But how this pack works is aimed to help you save time. So for example, we can come here and apply a template that we like, and it applies this full animation into our active project. We could double click the composition, and we go into each title layer and we'd easily change out our titles and you can quickly change the colors of every single template in here with a click of a button to whatever color palette that you need and the animation will update in your main composition so there's a ton of other full screen elements that you can use 
for vertical videos or for you know landscape motion graphics. So if you want to take a look at any of the packs we have off our website, I will link them below. If you do pick up anything, you will be supporting our YouTube channel. So thank you very much. All right, so for this next technique, I want to talk about how you can build, you know, this sort of echo titled, but we're really focused on the background here rather than the main title because we want to be able to use a title to fill up the composition but look nice. So I already have a title animation in here and all I did was animate the scale to create this jumping animation like that. So just, you know, expand the scale, bring it down to 100%, you know, bring it up, just create some sort of glitch if you want to do that. Uh, but I want to show you how you can take this quickly and create a full screen background. So I have the word right here with no animation whatsoever. And I'm going to click on this swap fill icon right here. And this will allow this to turn into a stroke. I'll make sure that stroke width is set to one right there. And what I'm going to do is take this title and scale it up. Hit S on keyboard for scale and just make this rather big and make sure it's in the center of our composition. And then what I'm going to do is add a keyframe for scale here. I'll move forward to maybe like seven seconds and I'll just have this come towards us. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this layer and I'm going to affect time and grab echo to this and I'm gonna come here to the number of echoes and increase this up to maybe like five or so and come here to echo time and just bring this into the negative value by a little bit more so if I scroll through here we'll see that we have our title here and I'm actually coming to the uh, stroke width and bring this down to 0.5 a little too thick for me there perfect then what I'm gonna do is take our echo layer here and I'm just gonna move it forward in our timeline so we'll already have those up there and I'll go ahead and create an adjustment layer, layer, new adjustment layer. And then I'll go to effect, stylize, and we'll grab CC vignette. This will kind of darken out the sides there, increase the amount. And look at that, it's a nice little vignette around that. I'll also hit T to lower the opacity here to like 75%. And when it's all said and done, you can have a really cool extra title background element for your main title animation. All right, this last title animation will really impress the kids. So listen close. So here we are, and we already have just a blank title in here. It's not doing anything. What I'm going to do is take this title. I'm just going to duplicate it, and I'll bring it down, and we'll switch it to stroke, and we'll just leave it at like one this time around. And as before, I'm going to link the source text by uh, alt-clicking, pick whipping to the original source text. So if I decide to change my text later, everything will update. And then I'll duplicate this just a couple of times, so two on the bottom and two on the top, and I'll bring this up. Perfect. Then I'm going to grab all these and go to layer pre-compose and we'll just call it title stack one. Click OK. We'll go back into that composition and go to composition settings this time around. And we'll just bring down the height until we close down the composition to have a little bit of that gap between the titles. So you see we have just a small gap here. Click OK. Go back into the other composition. And what we'll do here is go to effect, uh, stylize, and we're gonna grab CC repeat tile. And we'll go ahead and expand downward. And we can expand up by a little bit. We'll revisit this settings really quick. So what we're gonna do is go to layer new null object. Then we're gonna parent the composition to the null. We'll grab null two, hit P on keyboard for position. We'll add a keyframe for this. Uh, move the keyframe forward by a little bit to like about a half a second. And we'll bring down the Y value here. We'll go back to our title stack, expand downward here, and that should be fine. Make the last keyframe an easy, easy keyframe by hitting F9. You go to the graph editor, and you can just drag out that handle down here. And what's going to happen is we're going to get this animation. Make sure you turn on motion blur. It looks a lot better. So boom, it just kind of slides right to that as an opening transition. Now we want to expand this with you know some other titles. So what we'll do is quickly take title stack one in our project panel duplicate it we'll take the title stack one here in our comp duplicate that as well grab title stack two hold down alt on your keyboard click and just drag it into your composition and that will automatically replace it so you go back into that composition and just change out your title really quick and you'll see everything will update as you type this out so back in the main composition we'll just hide title stack two we'll move forward in our timeline we'll have you know our first title up for just few seconds maybe a second or a half a second just depends up to you add a keyframe for this we'll move forward and we'll just bring this one downward and what we'll do is come here to tile stack one just expand up we'll just add maybe like two more of these grab tile stack two and we'll just bring this up and kind of just you know, maybe we'll expand it downward a little less right there and kind of just match that up like so 
and then continue to reposition this to be right in the center of our composition. So now with everything said and done, here's gonna be our animation. So now you're gonna be able to duplicate this process and add on to your scrolling titles. So that is our tutorial on these three title animations right here in After Effects. Hopefully now you can take these techniques, create your own creative titles right here for After Effects. So if you did enjoy this video, be sure to smash that like button because it helps us out tremendously. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We post two post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit me up on Instagram. We got tutorials on there as well. And always be creative.